Hi, my name is James Clem. Incisal edges, that's what this video is about. I love creating incisal edge characterization. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Historically, we used to cut back and layer. I have a skill set in doing that. I love doing it, but I still like the strength of a monolithic incisal edge. Currently, I'm using Mio to create that incisal effect. That's what this video is about. It's my basic workflow for creating that incisal edge that looks like a cutback, but with the monolithic incisal strength. Now, when you're doing this, if you're trying to match a tooth next door, you want a photograph. You want a photograph that's not overexposed, maybe a little lower in exposure, and that way you can see that incisal edge of the tooth you're trying to blend into. Number two, I like to map in my incisal strategy. To do that, I'll just draw using a lead pencil and draw in the effect where I want that low value to appear to create the mamelon effect to blend into that incisal edge that I'm trying to match in the mouth. Incisal edges come in many different shapes and forms and characterization, so you want to study that. You want to become a noticer of the incisal edges. Now, if you're doing a large case, you can be very creative and create the effects that you want. But when you're trying to match in one central to another, which is the true challenge, you want to look at the central next door and you want to blend that in. One thing I love about meal is that when you paint on the colors, we're going to flow them on low value, high value. What you see in the wet form is what you're going to see when it's fired. And that's the beauty of meal. It helps me just to fine tune what I want to get before I fire and predictably get that same effect once it's fired. This workflow is about creating a basic incisal edge in the colors that we're going to use. So it's going to be smoke, storm for the low value. That's the foundation. That's how we build that low value incisal mamelon effect. Then what we're going to do is contrast that low value with high value. So we're going to use straw, we're going to use halo spring, we're going to use lumen, and then we'll use some base colors, which would be either ABCD or clementine to create some mamelon effect with some warmer subtle colors. So that's the basic formula we use. And then we're going to definitely use the NSYNC stain and glaze. So that's how we condition the ceramic to make sure the ceramic's ready and wettable to add the colors. The first step is to wet your ceramic. You can use a combination of the liquid and the glaze. With that wet surface, you're going to start adding that smoke. And the smoke, you're going to apply and then you're going to float it. So once you apply that smoke about a half a millimeter to three quarters of a millimeter from that incisal edge, you're going to float it and create the striation and the effect that you want around the line angles and into the primary depressions, you're going to create that mamelon effect with the low value. That's the very first thing you do to create that incisal effect. Then step two is to add the storm. The storm has a little bit of blue in it. And with the blue, what I have found very effective is that you highlight the smoke. Blue can be really, really intense. So with the blue, you're going to add it just at the edge of the primary depressions and slightly streak it down from that incisal edge and blend that in to the smoke. Now, most of the time, that's all you need to do. If you're using a ceramic that has just the nice value to it already, what you want to do is create the contrast and you're going to bring the value down, right? So with my veneer cases, where I'm doing multiple teeth, sometimes that's all I'll do is I'll just add the smoke and the storm and create that incisal effect just with those two colors and then I'm done. Now the next step is if you want to highlight the halo and you have to blend it to a tooth next door, I'm going to use straw. Straw is a higher value, but it really defines that incisal edge without making it too intense. And then to that straw, we're going to add a halo spring. So when you add Halo Spring, it's a little more opaque and you can characterize it just carefully and blend that into the straw to create that nice effect. To highlight the mamelon effect, I like to use the base color of the tooth. Often clementine will work. It's just a tint of color between the mamelons. It's very subtle. It's almost like you don't see it, but it really makes those mamelons start to pop and come alive. 
at each one of these stages, it may be enough. For this case, we're going to use lumen. Lumen is used to increase the value. You can elevate the value on any area of the ceramic, whether it be a line angle or in the mid portion of the tooth or in the incisal edge. Lumen is kind of like white, but not quite as intense. You can use it to create that nice characteristic where you want to elevate the value. Once the colors are added, the final step is to blend them appropriately. So we float it on the colors where we want them first, right? Now what we're going to do is take the edge of that brush and slightly vibrate it. And we're going to vibrate it where we want to diffuse the colors. You don't want to mix them, but you want to diffuse the colors just to make them blend a little better. Use your imagination to do this. I think a good practice way to do this would be getting a photograph of a tooth and trying to match it. And what I love about the meal system is that once it fires, it looks like it's embedded in the ceramic. And there's other steps you can take by painting on a structure layer, which is a brush on ceramic. That's not what this video is about. This video is the bread and butter of creating those nice and sizzle edges to blend and give the illusion of a cutback and have monolithic and sizzle strength. I am still learning the meal system. The abilities that you have with this system are tremendous. They work on ceramic and zirconia. So the skill set you can use anywhere you want to within your clinical theater. I really feel like this is a great system. This is my go-to system now in what I do. So if you have any questions or comments about this video, make sure you post them below. This video is more about the basic workflow between adding low value and characterizing with high value. So it's a contrast effect to get that net effect that you want. And what's nice about this system is what you see is what you'll get when you fire it. And as I grow with meal, I'll be adding other technique applications as well. So thanks for watching this video and you have a great day.